uh, everyone has heard about jousting, everyone has heard about chivalry, and yet we know so little about it. I spend an inordinate amount of time in uh, libraries around the world uh, trying to figure out manuscripts and uh, you have to become uh, practiced in the art of deciphering the handwriting of a particular uh, scribe and so it's, it's, it basically takes years of practice. Chivalry as an institution is believed to have started in uh, northern France around the uh, 10th century and uh, became a, a, the major political institution throughout all of Western Europe. The knights were always a warrior class, so chivalry is uh, always associated with uh, violence. They were really expected to be a kind of medieval police force to protect the poor, but also to keep the peace among themselves. Uh, they were also expected to promote uh, what was then the universal Catholic faith. Uh, the priests were expected to convert. The knights were expected uh, either forcefully to convert or to kill uh, if it came to it. Some of the chronicles have this uh, sad detail that uh, one of the worst enemies is not the enemy that you're fighting outside, but the fleas that would consume you uh, after wearing the armor in a, in particular in a hot climate like Spain, perhaps for days on end. We always expect in the, in the movies for the armor to clank. Armor in the Middle Ages was never expected to clank. Clanking was bad. You have in the 12th century the principal uh, chivalric event for knights was called the melee tournament. You could have maybe a group of 20 uh, knights gang up on one single knight and settle an old score. Jousting evolved initially as a kind of sideshow to the main event of the melee tournament where uh, just two knights, one against one, would fight against each other to uh, highlight and showcase their, uh, their technical virtuosity with the lance. So chivalry must always be seen as something that uh, knights participated in, but they wanted to participate in an activity that could also be uh, well observed by the uh, ladies of the aristocratic class, for example. So there was a synergy between participant and spectator uh, in the chivalric world. Jousting eventually faded away um, because uh, primarily for economic reasons, it was a prohibitively expensive sport. Typical uh, state-of-the-art armor would cost in today's money uh, maybe two to three million dollars for, for one armor and then you had to purchase armor for the horse, uh, taking into account that the armor itself would take uh, perhaps a year to make. And so you, the person who was purchasing the armor, would have to be the exact same height and weight uh, in one year's time that you were when you purchased the armor in the first place, which is also uh, sometimes difficult to do. Most knights avoided alcohol because it's fattening. I don't, I don't joust, but I do engage periodically in the modern lance game, which is pool. Pool is, a, is the last great vestige of the sport.